McBreen had two daughters, and each one in turn was offered in marriage to James E. O'Burn. Now Kitty was pretty, but Jane she was plain, so to make up the defer, McBree would explain. He'd give the best heifer he had on the land, as a sort of a bonus with Jane understand. But then Kitty would charm the bird off a bush, and that left the lad in a hard and non plush. Now there's no denying Kitty was remarkably pretty, though I can't say the same for Jane. But still there's no differ of the price of a heifer between the pretty and the plain. Entirely bothered was James E. O'Byrne, he thought that he'd give the schoolmaster a turn. Says he to Ed Kitty is very good fun, still a heifer's a heifer when all said and done. A girl she might lose her good looks anyhow, and a heifer might grow to an elegant cow. But still there's no price for the stock, do you mind? The Jane has a face that the devil designed. Now there's no denying Kitty was remarkably pretty, though I can't say the same for Jane. But still there's no differ of the price of a heifer between the pretty and the plain. The schoolmaster said with a good deal of sense, We'll reduce the two girls to shillings and pence. At the price of the heifer, then Jane, I'll be bound, will come out on top by a couple of pound. But still I'm forgetting that down in Glengall, the stock is just gone for nothing at all. So Jim thought he'd wait till the end of the year, till girls might be cheaper or stock might be dear. Ah, but when he went for Kitty, she had married to McVitie, McGee had appropriated Jane. So whether there's the differ in the price of a heifer is a thing that he never would explain.